In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add security to your Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, or Note 8. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add security to that screen. So this was the lock screen right here. And many people want to make sure that nobody else can get in their phone. This video is going to answer that question. So the first thing that we need to do is go into the phone settings. And then right here at the top, you see lock screen and security. So right here are all the different security and lock screen settings. So I'm gonna focus on the top of these settings right here. Under screen lock type, you have the different options you can choose. Swipe, pattern, pin, password, none, face, fingerprint, and iris. And we're gonna cover all those. So swipe just means that when you're on the lock screen, you can simply unlock the phone just by swiping over the screen and it will go in. And that means there is absolutely no security so anyone can pick up your phone and go to any of the documents or files that you have. So before we add any form of security, I do wanna mention that if you have a Google account on your phone, which you're required to do here on Android, to download any applications, and then you go and add a PIN or passcode, it will automatically enable what is called factory reset protection. So that means if somebody steals your phone, they factory reset it, they have no way to get your content, but the phone then becomes a brick. This is to prevent people from stealing phones. And so they can't use the phone at all. It requires your password to get into the phone again. Well, that means that if you need to factory reset your phone because you forgot the PIN code, it will require you to put in your Gmail account when you log back in the phone. So if you forget that, you have to go and reset it and then it'll take like three days before you can get back into your phone. So make sure you remember your Gmail or your Google account password if you are adding any form of security to your phone. So now let's go into the screen lock type and add pattern. So pattern allows you to customize a little pattern on the screen and then you would have to do that two times and remember that to go in. So it's pretty quick to get in your phone. You don't have to know any type of passcode or phrase or anything. And then right here, you have the different type of content you can see. So you can hide the content so it's not gonna say what the message actually is, like a text message. And you can also hide the notification. So it's just gonna give you a little icon right there. But we're gonna leave those both on and we're gonna hit done here. So then we go to the lock screen and when I wanna unlock the phone, here I swipe and then it asks for the pattern. And then I can get into the phone. So that's one level of security. The next one that we have, and when you go back into the security settings, it requires you to now enter that code so nobody can come in and change it at any time. Then we have the pin option. So this is just a four digit pin or you can make it as many as you want. And so I just need to type that in four times. Right here, this is a really cool option that allows you to just type in the pin and then it will go into your phone without you actually hitting okay. It may not be as secure because somebody could just type in a pin code and it goes in without hitting okay and they accidentally go in. But I'm gonna leave that checked, hit continue here. And there it has added the pin code to the lock screen. So here I just type in the four characters and it goes in. Then we are going to go in and add the password. So a password is high security. So this is because you can add so many characters. You can add a passphrase. So many words, numbers, letters, all within this. And if you do add a password to your phone, when you reset the phone, it will be required that you put this in. So make sure you remember this. So here I could go in and type in a passcode and then you need to confirm that again. And there it has added. And when we are on the lock screen, the only way to get past this is if you remember that entire passcode. So make sure if you choose that option, you do not ever forget that. So then the next options that we have in the secure lock settings are the biometrics or your face, fingerprint, and iris. So many people have talked about the face recognition in the past and that it's easy to get past. Well, today we're gonna to test that out and I'm gonna try and take a picture of myself and see if it can use that to get past. So I think the facial recognition is really a great option to add to your phone because let's say you lost your phone, this at least adds something to the phone to protect it. So, you know, if you lost it, they don't know what you look like, so they can't find a picture of you. But if you have a bunch of friends that are trying to get into your phone with a picture of you, then maybe you wanna add some of the other options that we talk about in a minute. So here to enable face unlock, I just turn this on. It then says I need to be about 10 to 50 centimeters away. Then I just hold it up 
and it will automatically register my face. So now the face recognition is on. So now if I want to unlock my phone, all I need to do is go to the lock screen and it automatically goes in. I didn't have to do anything, it can recognize that. So let's say I go into my phone, I try and unlock it, it requires the password that I put in or the face unlock. So here I click on this to recognize the face and it goes in. All right, here's the moment you've been waiting for. I have printed out this nice photo of myself to see if I can use this to unlock with the face unlock. So I did do a pretty HD picture and I did it as big as I could so it would be as close to real as possible. So here we go, let's see what happens. So here I have the picture. And it did unlock the phone. So like I said before, the face unlock is not very secure, but it's at least some sort of security. So you don't have to have a pin code in case you lose your phone or something. But if you're worried about people close to you getting in your phone, make sure you choose another form of security. So let's try this one more time without me being anywhere close to it. And there we go, it unlocked the phone. So now let's use the fingerprint on the back of the phone. So you're going to place your finger on there multiple times until it gets to 100%. So if I pick this up, and then I just place my finger right here and I keep going up and down. And you just kind of move it around so that it can get all parts of your fingerprint. And there we go, it has been registered 100%. So now when I'm on the lock screen, all I need to do is touch the fingerprint sensor and it will unlock. So let me show you that again. All I did, it was touch right there and it unlocks the phone, which is really great. I find the fingerprint scanner to be really nice and easy to use. And you can add multiple fingers as well, so different hands or um, other people if you wanted to. Okay, so the last option is the iris. So the iris, I would say, is the most secure, especially of the biometric settings. In here it's saying that you can't use the face unlock and the iris at the same time. It automatically is going to turn off the face unlock, and then it's gonna tell me that uh, some of the things you need to be 25 to 35 centimeters from your face to use this. So glasses may interfere, so you might want to take those off when you're doing this. And so the iris works by using an infrared light, which you can see is on right here. And then it has a sensor over here that is able to recognize the iris. So here it automatically recognized my face. And then here it says glasses or contacts. It's harder to see, but it would still work. And then make sure your eyes are open fully try to avoid direct sunlight and keep the lens clean. And then you can also customize that. So let's try this out real quick. I go into the phone, I need to swipe, and there it recognized the iris. Let's do that one more time. So here is the lock screen, and I can type in my passcode or I can just have it look at my iris and it unlocks the phone. Now some other settings that you can do once you have all of those enabled is in the secure lock settings. So now that I'm in the secure lock settings, I can have my phone lock automatically. So as soon as I press the power button or as soon as the screen times out, I can say five seconds, 15, all the way up to 30 minutes. So that's one option. You can also have it lock instantly with the power right there. You can have auto factory reset. So maybe you have some really secure information. Somebody tries to get in your phone after 15 times, it's automatically going to factory reset. I would not select that uh, just in case you don't have your data backed up and you don't really know uh, what that is doing. I would not check that. So another option that we have within the iris scanner settings here, you can remove the iris preview iris screen mask. So here you can actually adjust what is going to show on that uh, lock screen instead of uh, just the black and white screen, you can actually come in here and choose a different mask on here. So that's kind of fun way to lock your phone. So now you can see that that mask has been added up there at the top. So a big question a lot of people have is, can you use the iris when it is dark? So let's test it out. All right, it's pretty dark in here. 
I'm gonna go in and boom, it unlocks with the iris. So then right here, one of the other cool options is iris unlock when screen's turned on. So this means that instead of having to swipe and turn on the iris, all you have to do is press the power button and it will begin scanning for the iris. So here I press the button and then it's already looking for the iris. I don't even have to use the lock screen to get into my phone. So a few other settings I want to go into, we have been using the screen lock type uh, this whole time, but if you go back and under phone security here, you have individual settings for face unlock, fingerprint, iris. So if we go into the face unlock and we have a few options here, we can remove the face data. So here we can say unlock your phone when your face is recognized, so it automatically unlocks. Face unlock when screen turns on, so we have that option. And for faster recognition, turn off to increase security. So that is not as secure when you turn that off. And then if we go back, we have the same thing for under the fingerprint settings. So here I can add multiple fingerprints. So I can click add right there, do the same thing as I did with the other fingerprint. Here I have Samsung Pass, so you can actually verify uh, your login information with Samsung Pass through certain applications. I'll cover that in a different video. And then here you have the fingerprint unlock, so making sure your fingerprint is unlocked. Now one other cool option you can do with the fingerprint sensor is back in the main settings of the phone and under the advanced features. And then you scroll down here and you have finger sensor gestures. So when you turn this on, you can actually get to your notification bar just by swiping down and swiping up. So I'm just going like this on the fingerprint up and down to pull that down. So that's really easy to use a cool other option there with the fingerprint. And then last here we have the iris scanner. So if I go into these options, I can preview the mask. Here's where I can change if I'm on face unlock right now, I can choose iris unlock right now. And that's how you adjust all the settings. One more option that is available right here is called the smart lock. So this means that if you have a wearable, say a gear watch or other smart devices, you can have it automatically know that when you are connected, it is a secure setting so it doesn't need to be locked down as much. So when I have my watch on me, it won't lock my screen every time I click the power button. But if I am disconnected from my watch, it will automatically lock the screen as soon as I press the power button. So here you can choose if I want on body detection, you can do it that way. You can say trusted place, trusted device, maybe like your car or trusted voice. So here I have the gear fit too, and I'm going to choose trusted device. And then I'm going to click add trusted device. And I hit, here I have gear fit to pro. So now this is being added as a device when I'm connected to it, it is going to not lock my screen or not lock it as often because I am connected right here to the gear fit to pro. And then you can go back in there and adjust those settings if you ever need to. A few other lock screen options that you have is on the information face widget. So right here, you can actually turn on what different clocks or music controllers are available. So here we have a music controller, we have today's schedules and the next alarms. So when we are on the always on display, I just need to tap on the clock and then it will pull up this, these other options where I can go to my music, I can go to my calendar and then I can go to other alarms that I have set. And then right here we have contact information. So maybe on my lock screen, I wanna tell you how to find me. If it is lost, I can add that right here. So I'm gonna say tech with Brett, click done. And now on my lock screen, you will see this option right here, tech with Brett. I hope this video was helpful in teaching you all about the secure settings on your Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, or Note 8. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment below. And if this is your first time here, I'd love for you to click the subscribe button so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.